May we see your invitation? Odd groups got left, even groups got right. Master, I hope I served you well. More not, more not. Too soon. It's Hearthstones, but not that game. We are talking about hearthstones today you guys we are going to be looking at the top five locations within the burning crusade for you to call home bit of a spoiler warning there will be no shatrath city included on this list simply because i really wanted to use this video to highlight five other unique locations within the outlands that still brings a bit of utility for you to call home so let's go ahead and get started all right, so coming in at number five, we have Shadow Moon Valley. So Shadow Moon Valley is a pretty unique zone, um, just in terms of aesthetics. It has like the really cool like doom and gloom type aesthetic to it. In terms of PVE though, there's a lot of really cool quest lines and quest chains that you actually will start here in Shadow Moon Valley. In terms of dungeons and PVE content, the only big thing out here is going to be the Black Temple, which is of course a level 70 raid. If you're interested in setting a Hearthstone here, don't worry because there is a spot for both the Horde and the Alliance. For the Alliance you're going to be looking at Wildhammer Stronghold, and for the Horde, you'll be looking at Shadow Moon Village. Alrighty, so at number four, we have Hellfire Peninsula. So, Hellfire Peninsula is going to be one of the first regions of Outlands that you are going to be encountering once you step foot through the Dark Portal. And in this zone, there's a lot of content and a lot of things to do for both PvP and PvE players. In terms of PvP, you have the little capture the post or zones um, around Hellfire Citadel area, which is located thankfully centrally in the map. Um, and then of course, in the center of the map, you have Hellfire Citadel, which is packed with a lot of dungeons for both the early dungeoning tiers and for the later dungeon tiers as well. For the early dungeons, you're going to be looking at Hellfire Ramparts and the Blood Furnace. And these covers kind of like the range of 60 to 64 almost um once you get to level 70 though it has the shattered halls and in terms of raiding it actually has two raids the first one is mactheridon's lair and then a little bit up to the north of hellfire citadel in the zone you have doom lord kazak which is a world boss but you might be asking like oh my god like where do i set my hearthstone well, don't worry so there's two locations for you guys as soon as you get here the first one for the horde is going to be thralmar and for the alliance you have honor hold which thankfully sits about a little bit west of hellfire citadel all right so coming in at number three we have zangar marsh so zangar marsh is definitely going to be a hub in terms of farming not just in a pvp or pve aspect but in terms of just farming in general there's a lot of great herbs that you can get within the zone it's pretty centrally located so it's not too far from shatrath city um, and in addition to that there's a lot of dungeons and content that it holds within the zone in terms of dungeons you have the slave pins and the underbog for the 62 to 65 range but once you hit 70 of course there's more opened up to you with the steam vault and the 25 man raid serpent shrine cavern if you're a fan of kind of like a cool fungally swampy type environment this is definitely going to be an amazing place for you and if you are an herbalist whether you're leveling or you're in the late game i would definitely recommend setting a hearthstone here but don't worry, because I'm going to let you know exactly where you can set your hearth to. So for Zangar Marsh, you're looking at Telrador for the Alliance. And for the Horde, you have Swamp Rat Post. Alrighty, so coming in at number two, we have one of my personal favorites. It is Netherstorm. So Netherstorm is in the northern region of Outlands. So it's a little bit out of the way and kind of distance from like the main central hub of Shatrath City but there's a lot of stuff in this zone and it has a lot to offer in terms of PvP and PvE play styles. So looking at specifically the dungeons and battlegrounds we have the Mechanar and the Botanica, um, the Architraz, and there is a level 70 raid here which is of course the Eye. But if you're a PvP person, you might be spending a lot of time in this zone just because it has a PvP vendor. But in addition to that, it also contains Eye of the Storm Battleground, which is probably one of my favorite battlegrounds, in all honesty. Like, I'm really excited about being able to play this battleground again. Um, but in addition to that, there's a lot of really cool quest lines out here. It's actually not too far from Gruul's Lair. Uh, so that's kind of like the Anixia of TBC. So it's like... I don't know, like, it's super short. It's a super short flight to get there. So it's a really cool zone. I really like this one. If you're looking at setting a hearthstone here, here are the locations for your hearthstone. Okay, I really don't know why I said locations, because there's only one, and it's Area 52. It's marked on the map for you. There you go. <laughs> 
All right, and coming in at number one, we have Nagran. So Nagran, I think, really just takes the cake in terms of overall aesthetics. It's just a very unique, beautiful zone. Um, I know for some people, they may not like it that much. Um, and realistically, looking at it, in terms of content-wise, there's not much out here. Of course, there's quest chains, there's really good farming spots for herbs, leather, ore. Overall, in terms of just having a place to relax and kind of get away from everything, I would probably recommend Nagrand. Um, in terms of PvP, though, if you're a PvP person, you're absolutely going to love Nagrand. Uh, in the center, kind of the center of the zone, um, there's the town called Hala, and this is basically located in the center. It's a neutral town, but it does reward the strength of Halani, which is kind of like a zone-wide buff that increases damage um, once your faction has won the town. In addition to that, if you're into the arena scene, which I know a lot of people are really excited about, this is where the Ring of Trials is located. So it's going to be located in Nagrand. So if you're going to set your hearthstone here, you're going to be really close to it. Um, there is two separate cities for both the Horde and the Alliance. For the Alliance, you have Telar. And for the Horde, you have Garadar. So it's uh, it's just a beautiful zone. I'm probably going to be spending a lot of time here just farming and running around and just kind of soaking in the views. Um, but yeah, no, this is why I just had to put Nagrand at number one. Just because it is simply Nagrand. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, go ahead and leave me a like. If you dislike it, go ahead and dislike it so I know. If you have any questions or video ideas that you'd like to see from me, just... Make a comment down below and I will get right back with you to let you know that, hey, I heard you and I'm probably going to be making it soon. Um, I'm backed up with a couple of video ideas at the moment, so I'm going to be kind of not rushing, but kind of taking my time to put them out. Um, thank you guys so much for the views. It's nice to see that there's more than eight people watching this video. Um, but yeah, until the next one, I will see you guys soon. Peace.